on today's tutorial Tuesday, we're going to be making oobleck. It's not quite a solid and it's not quite a liquid. Stay tuned to find out how to make this awesome stuff. So we'll start off with all the ingredients we're going to use. So first we're going to need cornstarch, food coloring, one cup of warm water, a bowl to mix in, a one cup measuring cup, and a spoon for mixing. So we're going to start off by getting our mixing bowl, our one cup measuring cup, and our cornstarch, and we're going to measure out two cups of cornstarch. So here's one cup. And we need just one more. And there we have our second cup. And we just pour it into our mixing bowl. Now we get our water. And make sure it's a little bit warm and that you fill it to one cup. And we take our food coloring, and I'm gonna to try to make a nice orange and add it to the water. And you could use as much drops as you'd like. Hopefully this makes a nice orange. <laughs> I'm experimenting here. And you take your spoon and you mix it around. I don't know if this made orange, but I guess we're gonna find out. Now we are gonna slowly pour our warm water food coloring mixture into this cornstarch while mixing. But don't pour it all in at the same time. Just pour it in slowly, because we might not even use all of it. So just slowly pour it in. and kind of mix it. So once mixing, you're gonna feel that the, that the oobleck is starting to form and you can't mix, so this is when you're gonna have to get your hands in there. So just kind of use the water and try to kind of mix it around. really turn out to the color orange that I wanted but that's okay so as you can see I didn't end up using all of my water but I got the consistency that I like and here it is here is our oobleck and as you can see when you just roll it around in the bowl it looks like it's a liquid but don't let that fool you because if you put force to it like punch it, your hands cannot go through. But if you just slowly rest them on top, do you see that? It sinks like quicksand. So how cool is that? You will be playing with this for hours, I tell you. For hours. You could try grabbing it and making a ball. See, we have a hard, solid ball, but as soon as you just leave it alone, it melts in your hands. See, 
Whenever you put force to it is when it turns into a solid, and when you just let it be, it melts. How cool is that? So I hope you guys had fun learning to make oobleck. I'm sure if you do try this, you'll be having fun for a long time. Because after this video, I'm going to be playing with it for a long time. So stay tuned next week for our next Tutorial Tuesday. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.